Now, the fact that the Arctic is warming faster than anywhere else in the world not only has implications for our planet, of course, but also for international politics. The summer melting of the sea ice has opened up a new shipping route between Europe and Asia, with China and Russia ready to exploit it. The current instability around the Middle East only adds to the need for a new way around the world. The Arctic Circle where the northern hemisphere converges and climate change has the potential to redraw international trade routes and relations. For the first time this year, China is broadcasting Arctic shipping forecasts. Acknowledging the importance of the nautical lanes being carved through Runt's frozen seas. This time of year, the end of the Northern Hemisphere summer, is when Arctic sea ice is at its lowest. And data from NASA shows, compared to the average at the end of last century, we're now losing more than 12% of ice every decade. Loss of ice could be China and Russia's gain. This is the Northern Sea Route, being opened by a nuclear-powered Russian icebreaker. Once only passable a couple of months a year, thawing seas mean giant tankers can now pass through unescorted for longer. Compared to the usual route from East Asia to Europe, a 48-day, 21,000-kilometre trip through the Suez Canal, going via the Arctic is significantly shorter, at 13,000 kilometres and just 34 days. As a result, it could cut emissions in half. Potential is absolutely huge. The state that will gain the most is Russia because effectively they'll get tariffs through transit. So they want the Northern Sea Route open. They want Europeans, they want American companies, they want Chinese companies to start using it for economic benefit for themselves. It's estimated the amount of goods shipped through the route will increase eightfold this decade. But since the invasion of Ukraine, the West has made Putin a pariah, forcing him to look east. There's a Chinese saying, uh, Wei Ji uh, means opportunities and the crisis, they are combined together. There are two crises. Uh, one is uh, climate change. Uh, second means war in Ukraine and the sanctions to Russia. So now Russia agree about the China Central Asia summit. In the shifting waters of geopolitics, global warming and melting Arctic ice are changing the playing field. Martin Stu, News at 10. The Arctic Circle.